Hey guys, we put the V3 upgrade kit on the Phantom and we're right here putting it through its paces to see how fast it can really go. Plus we'll be testing the range, smoothness of acceleration, and the regen braking. For those of you who don't know, the V3 upgrade kit comes with the new Mach 1 controller, two new throttles for the acceleration and braking, and a new display. Let's go. We're over here in this long strip of road, which should give me enough runway to see how fast I can really go. The Phantom V3 has an advertised top speed of 64 kilometers per hour, but the winds are blowing and the road's kind of bumpy here, so we'll see how we can do with some more real world conditions. Despite the uneven surface and the wind in my face, I was still able to hit 65 km per hour, just slightly over the advertised top speed, thanks to the Mach 1 controller. And I was able to verify that speed by tracking it in the Apollo app, thanks to the V3's Bluetooth connectivity. So this means under ideal conditions, I could even go faster up to 70 km per hour, like we have seen some people post about in our community group. Okay, but speed isn't everything. It's hard to tell on screen, but the responsiveness of the new V3 throttle accelerates much more smoothly, allowing for greater control. So now I can comfortably cruise at lower speeds to allow my slower friends to keep up. When riding at these high speeds, you need to be able to stop reliably as well. While the Phantom still offers mechanical or hydraulic disc brakes, you also now have a dedicated regen brake throttle. This acts as a bit of an engine brake and helps regenerate some battery life while riding. The great thing about the regen system, besides the smoothness of braking and the little to no maintenance, is the ability to change your settings and strength within the Apollo app. Just be sure not to set it too high right off the bat, as you could find it too strong and stop too suddenly. Even at higher speeds, the Phantom reliably comes to a complete stop just by relying on the regen brake and with no skidding. As you can see here, I was going about 40 kilometers per hour and came to a complete stop in about 35 feet. Not too bad. Now it's time to charge the scooter again, take it back out for the range test. Now we try to be pretty conservative with our range estimates, calculating it based on the lowest speed settings with an average rider weight of 160 to 180 pounds and in ideal riding conditions. Now I'm a little bit lighter than the average testing weight so it should help, but I'm also gonna test it out in Ludo mode to try and get a more realistic real world example. Being able to connect the Phantom to the Apollo app, I can see I rode for a total of 50.2 kilometers at an average speed of 35 kilometers per hour and a maximum top speed of 61 kilometers per hour. Not too bad for a range test. To compare, I did the same trip on a previous video with the V2 Phantom and completed the route with about 45 volts remaining and a slower average speed of 30 to 32 kilometers per hour. The maximum estimated range of the Phantom is advertised at 64 kilometers, but again, this is based on the lowest speed settings and ideal riding conditions, so staying on smooth flat ground. The fact that I was able to do 50 kilometers with some ups and downs, the wind in my face, slowing and starting, you know, going up to 61 kilometers as I said, that really speaks to the efficiency of this new controller. However, we do need to remind everyone that the results may vary and the installation kit is only able to sustain high looter performance for a limited amount of time. Due to the increase of power, it requires extra airflow in order to not overheat. However, the controller will automatically regulate itself and decrease performance in order to avoid overheating and to avoid shutting down while riding. The installation kit will be relatively easy to install as it's all plug and play, but it does require some technical know-how. So if you don't feel comfortable installing it yourself, you can always contact our support team to book an appointment with one of our dedicated repair centers. The Phantom V3 upgrade kit is available to reserve now and estimated to ship by the end of the year. More details and information to come, so be sure to like and subscribe and sign up for a newsletter so you don't miss any announcements. Thanks again for watching guys, and as always, ride safe.